Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Adventure Quest News video. Today, we're going to be looking at a bunch of really interesting stuff concerning the future of Adventure Quest Worlds. As it seems like we're always talking about the future of Adventure Quest Worlds. Well, welcome to the news. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another news video. Today, actually got some really cool stuff to talk about, so let's talk about it. First off, tweet out earlier today, I wonder how the quest would change if all the A staff were required to farm all the hard items. This game might get a little easier. Now, that's kind of a joke tweet, sort of, like uh, a lot of the A staff would like give up and make the quest easier just so they could do them. Um, but I guess Elena saw it and took it pretty serious. I, and it was also hypothetical. I don't actually want, I don't, I, I know how game development works in a basic standpoint. Not, I'm not, of course not a developer or anything, but I know from a basic uh, consumer standpoint of how game development works. I've seen behind the scenes videos and stuff like that quite often for different dev studios. Um, but yeah, I don't want them all to do it. It's hypothetical and uh, it's kind of a joke tweet too, but uh, Elena took it pretty serious. Uh, saving this discussion for later with the team. Thank you for bringing it up. I mean, it is kind of a good point. Like, if there's a quest in the game that 90% of your uh, company that's making the game doesn't want to do, maybe the quest is a little too hard or a little boring or a little... Or it just needs a change of some sort. Maybe. But, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not a developer. I can't speak on these things. I'm just giving my opinion. Uh, but the basic idea is worth discussing and empathizing more. Uh, for any game team or project, which is true, yes. All right, moving on. Now, this is really interesting. I uh, this came out. Okay, this came out a few minutes after I posted this. Um, let's look at the time on this one: one thirty-seven, two thirty-eight. So about an hour later. Um, if we were going to add a new type of server boost slash weekend special, what would you like to see? A drop rate boost with 65% on that. I mean, I don't think I've updated this in a while. It's got 460 votes, so that's a pretty accurate result. Repeatable daily quests. Now, I voted for this because this would break the game in a lot of ways. Uh, I, I can think of a few. Uh, if you're rep grinding, uh, there's rep areas in the game where they have huge bonuses for daily. Uh, that you could just repeat over and over again. Usually they're pretty easy too. Uh, classes like Pyromancer, uh, Cryomancer, ooh, to do that, the, uh, the Thief of Out, not the Thief of Hours, uh, what's it, the Collector class. Uh, daily quests like that, classes like that, would be very easily farmed in a, a few minutes because the daily quests are really easy. And if you could repeat them, you could have those quests in, uh, like, yeah, literally a few minutes. So that would be really broken, so I picked that, but uh, I think drop rate boost is also a very good candidate. Now, what would you farm if the drop rate boost was increased? Leave a comment down below. I would love to know what you guys would farm if drop rate uh, was increased. I wonder if that would count on quests also. So like if you're Nolgath farming, the uh, drop rate for things like vouchers and other things that people uh, need that have kind of low drop rates. I wonder if that would increase also. Pretty interesting. I think gold... Uh, cost discount should never be done that's gold cost in the game really isn't that bad as it is and uh gold is relatively easy to farm compared to other things in the game so i don't think i think that would be a waste of a, a weekend event sort of thing like that okay so i actually suggested that elena did polls on twitter like this in one of my news videos maybe she saw that because there's a lot of polls in this news video that weren't in the previous uh news video so uh, i like them i like them it gets a good idea of what the community wants and even if all the uh, answers are yes, uh, okay, yeah, uh, maybe not, don't make all the answers yes, but I think everyone would have said yes anyway, so pretty safe bet on that one. A one-click auto-enhancement button that sets all your gear to the best, most useful level. Now, there was another tweet that they're actually testing this on the private uh, tester servers, uh, and it should be out on the PTR server within a few days or something like that. Uh, but very, very interesting. I would I would use this because I mostly put all my things to mage or wizard enhancement, I mean. So yeah, pretty useful. And that should be a future feature on the testing servers. Next tweet. Uh, okay, so Ocean asks, how's this server rewrite coming along? Uh, good to get an update on that, actually. I don't think we've got an update in a while. Elena responds with, pretty good. 
We wanted to get the auto enhance option in before we announced the launch date. I'm happy with our progress. And someone else down here a said maybe, uh, Dyron, said maybe uh, they would launch it on October, the anniversary of Adventure Quest Worlds. So that would be actually really good. I think that'd be a good date to do it in October. Uh, it's kind of, it's, uh, it's a few months away, but you know, it's coming up uh, sooner than you think. And uh, I think that'd be a good time to do it, but who knows? I think that there was rumors or like they, maybe they said that they were going to do it last anniversary. I, I think there was rumors in the community about that happening last year, but uh, hey, maybe it'll actually happen this year. Uh, Elena tweeted out a new brand new pet from this week's release. It looks like probably member only. Uh, it's like a lava dragon and apparently the size was a little uh, messed up. Uh, it says all right who for the dragon with ultra go potion. So very large dragon. That'd be cool if that was actually in the game. That should be like a 0.03% drop. Put in the game, Elena. Do it. All right. Uh, moving on. <laughs> Don't do that, please. That'd be laggy as hell. All right. Today is the last day to get 50% more uh, if the AC Summer Madness. Tomorrow, the bonus amounts change back. So I use this pretty good, uh, especially if you're buying 12k AC. It's really good. You get a lot of bonus ACs. Uh, you probably have until the update tomorrow, so you have probably in the morning tomorrow to still do this, hopefully. Or maybe it goes away at midnight tonight. Uh, if you're watching this video at the time it's being uploaded, for the few hours after it's uploaded, uh, it's still live, so if you want to buy ACs, uh, you get bonus ACs. Um, the more ACs you buy, the more bonus you'll get. Uh, so make sure you use that while it's still available. And there should be another bonus during Frostfell in December. So if you miss this one, you can wait till December to buy ACs again if you want to. Or you can just get them at the regular price with no bonus. Well, there's no price discount, but the regular amount, no bonus. So tomorrow is Battle Under, uh, like a lava fire version of Battle Under. There's some drops right here. Hot rewards on their way. Several new sets headed your way this weekend. Collect lava gems to forge new permanent gear like the Lava Guardian Warrior set below. I don't know. That's probably this one on the right. Uh, could be the one on the left. The left, probably for ACs. Um... Like the grab loot from the treasure pile. Okay, I don't know what that is. I think Elena tweeted out about our treasure pile earlier. Uh, but uh, we'll see what that is. Probably something to do with the quest line in the event. And find the draconic oracle armor in the July feature gear shop available till August 4th. That's what the one in the middle. So there is some information on the update tomorrow. Um, and uh, spoiler. Uh, this week's map is partially a random dungeon. It's been a long time since they've done one of these things. Uh, they actually did a random dungeon in AQ3D recently, so maybe they have a sort of uh, an affinity for random dungeons. We'll see how that works out uh, tomorrow, of course. Now, if you ever wanted to become a moderator, tester, or bug hunter, they are accepting applications currently. Uh, you can find this on the design notes or on Alina's Twitter if you want to apply. Uh, now, I'm going to go through the rules right here, just in case, so, because don't apply if you're not 18. I, I know they get a lot of people that apply like, oh, I'm uh, 16, but I'm just as mature as an 18-year-old. They, I'm pretty sure they're not going to do, there would be probably have to be some pretty extreme circumstances for them to uh, get someone on there that wasn't 18. Uh, but, um, yeah, so, be 18. Uh, and make sure you list all this stuff correctly uh, and you only get to send one email So don't send two and make sure you uh, spell check and everything because uh, yeah, don't mess up on it uh, There you go. Uh, make sure you do all that stuff read through this whole thing before you send in your application and uh, yeah, Make sure you have the time to do it also All right moving on Last and final tweet they are working on interiors for AQ3D uh, for battle one uh, this is the bank with the three birds in there. I think it's going to be really cool to have interiors for more of the buildings in the game. And I uh, can't wait for that to happen. So that's the last little bit of news. I always put AQ3D at the very end of the videos. If you guys enjoyed this, leave a like. Comment down below what you think of all these changes. Uh, like auto and upgrading all your enhancements at once. Uh, new boosts. A uh, bunch of cool stuff coming in the future for Adventure Quest 3D. I was looking around on Twitter for art uh, for like new updates for like maybe next week's update or something like that. I couldn't find anything. Uh, so maybe if someone in the comments found something that I missed, uh, leave that in a comment down below. And uh, yeah, thanks you guys for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace. All right, let's stop the music. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, 
animals, pets that are watching of all ages. How you doing, doggos out there? We're gonna add max 60, 60, 12k ACs. It hurts. You maxed out your backpack space. You've earned an achievement. Fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> we can have no more backpack space. We're at the max. Not a single new backpack slot can be had. Actually, I think they're set after server rewrite. They're going to allow you to have more backpack space. But yeah, okay. Well, we just spent 12k AC. RIP.